Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Benanin. Today we're going to be adding another Asian sunscreen to the collection by reviewing the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Gel. This is an SPF 50 plus PA of 4 plus. This is a Japanese sunscreen. You get about 140 grams and I picked it up from Stalvana. At the time it was retailing for $15.99. Keep in mind that this does come in different sizes so they have a smaller bottle that doesn't have a pump, a big bottle without a pump, and then the big bottle with the pump, which is what I got. This is a chemical sunscreen. The active ingredients in here are Tinasorb S, Uvenol A+, Octanoxate, and Uvenol T150. Some other ingredients in here, it has sodium hyaluronate and arginine. They do claim that it's water resistant. This does contain alcohol. I personally did not have an issue with the alcohol in here. I feel like the alcohol really helps with the formula as far as getting it to dry down and spread easier, but it didn't irritate my skin or anything. There are no added fragrance in here, but it does have a scent to it. It kind of smells like alcohol. The scent isn't overwhelming and it disappears really quickly. It's pretty much by the time the sunscreen is rubbed in, you can't really smell it anymore. So this is a very liquidy texture. Let me show you guys. They call it a super moisture gel, but to me, it's just a very liquidy, cream formula. Um, it's very lightweight. It spreads pretty easily as you guys can see um, and it's very thin. I would consider the finish of it to be like a natural finish. It's not too glowy but there is a slight glow to it and it's not mattifying at all so that kind of in between natural finish. So as always I'm going to show you guys what this looks like with a moisturizer and on its own as well as with makeup. I didn't actually film myself reapplying this over makeup so I can't really speak to that but I'll show you what it looks like underneath makeup. So the first day when I wore it on bare skin um, I was very impressed with it right off the bat. I was able to spread it on my face just in one layer very quickly. It rubs in pretty easily. It dries down very fast as well and when it dries down it kind of feels a little bit sticky at first like as you're moving it but as soon as it's spread out the stickiness goes away. I would consider this a natural finish. Um, on my oily skin though, there was a very slight glow, like not bad at all. And I didn't mind that because it gave me sort of a natural glow without it feeling greasy. So you're going to get that glow, but it's not going to feel heavy alongside it. So this is a very lightweight sunscreen. Obviously it's a chemical sunscreen, so it's not going to leave you with a white cast, but I'm still going to show you what it looks like in window lighting. It just went on so easily, so quickly, and I really don't have much to say about it. Um, after wearing it for two hours and coming back, as I said, I have oily skin, so I'm a little bit shiny in my T-zone, so my forehead and right at my cheeks. But Everywhere else it looks fine, but I went ahead and blotted and reapplied and reapplication was just as easy as the first application. Really no issues there at all. But sometimes you reapply a sunscreen and the first application is good, but then the second application is kind of shiny. I didn't have that. It looked pretty much the same with the first application as it did with the second application. So overall on day one, I really enjoyed the sunscreen. I feel like it was moisturizing enough on its own, so I was able to wear it on bare skin with my oily skin. I think if you have dry skin, it should be fine, but you might find it to be slightly dry. Um, you might want to put a little bit of a moisturizer under, but if you have oily skin and you're wearing it in more in the summer months, it should be fine. Um, I feel like I can wear it in the fall without a moisturizer, but when we move into the winter, um, chances are I'm going to be adding a moisturizer under, especially in my mouth area, because that's where I get more dry. The next day, I wore it with a moisturizer, hence why I'm starting out a little bit glowy. <laughs> um, and then I went ahead and applied it over the moisturizer. It does work well with other products. I didn't experience any pilling or separation or breaking up and it spread out just as easily. In natural lighting, as you'll see, it's giving that natural to slightly glow finish and yeah, it just looks good overall and it felt good on my face. Um, two hours later with a moisturizer, I'm looking a little bit shiny because yes, I have oily skin so we're gonna see some glow in my T-zones, but it didn't feel oily, so that's good. So with a moisturizer, I think it works well. I personally think my skin preferred it better on its own. I found that it was moisturizing enough, but I wanted to test it out with a moisturizer because as we move into the winter months, as I said, I'm gonna get drier in these 
this area so I'm gonna need some more moisture there and I like that you can layer it on top without it separating pilling breaking up I want to say though this sunscreen really reminds me of the Suncut gold one that I really like the con with the Suncut one is that some people think it's not moisturizing enough um, and the Suncut is not one that I would ever use in the winter time because I kind of I can sense that but I love it for the summer um, this one I feel like would be a good replacement for that going into the winter months it doesn't leave me greasy it's lightweight it has a very similar texture to the sun cut one but I find that this is more moisturizing lastly I wore it with makeup and it works really well underneath makeup I feel like my makeup went on pretty good and it looks pretty good so keep in mind that this does give you that natural to slightly glow so if you don't like that underneath makeup per se you might have to go ahead and just add a little bit more powder or a setting spray but I personally liked how it looked underneath makeup so overall I really enjoyed my experience with this sunscreen I liked wearing it on its own I didn't mind how it wore with the moisturizer I like that it's fragrance free it spread out easily it dried down quickly there wasn't a lot of thought that I had to put into it I could just slap it on and go who I would recommend this sunscreen for I feel like it could work for all skin type the only person that I could see this sunscreen not working for is if you have super super oily skin because although it's lightweight um, and it doesn't feel heavy it does give you a slight glow and you might not like that if you have sensitive skin I think it should work fine unless you're sensitive to alcohols I personally didn't have any issues with the alcohol in here if you have acne prone skin I think it should work fine I personally didn't have any breakouts to this in the footage you are gonna see some pimples and breakouts and such it's not from the sunscreen I've just been dealing with hormonal acne like crazy obviously there's no white cast because it is a chemical sunscreen so if you are someone with a deeper complexion you shouldn't have any issues with this at all and then lastly if you're someone who wears makeup it should work fine underneath makeup I didn't test it out over makeup but it is a pretty thin texture and it like doesn't take a lot of rubbing so I feel like you should be able to use this to reapply over makeup and it should work fine but I didn't test that out sorry <laughs> I should have so that's it for today's video those are my thoughts on the skin aqua UV super moisture gel if you guys have tried this sunscreen and you loved it let me know if you tried it and you absolutely hated it and you disagree with what I have to say let's chat about that down in the comment section below I'd love to hear you guys thoughts don't forget to leave your sunscreen recommendations as always and I'll see you guys all in the next one bye